Today we are going to learn how to lay out a rectangular offset. The offset is often used to avoid obstructions. In the perfect world, ductwork would stay straight. The offset we are going to lay out is 8 inches finished in length and 4x4 four four in dimension with a 4 inch offset. Your cut size will be 9 by 8 and a half for the cheeks. These cheeks have S and drives on both ends. Okay, let's go ahead and add your quarter inch for your male end of your Pittsburgh lock. After doing so, start by lettering A to B is seven inches long, B to C is four inch offset, C to D is four inch duck size, and A to E again is four inch in duck dimension. I have now bisected A to E and C to D. Draw a straight line connecting G to F. We will now bisect G to F. Identify this mark with the letter H. We will now bisect F to H. Once that is done, Bring your line down to the one inch working line. And letter I. Using I as a radius point and C as your radius, swing an arc from I to C downward. With I as your radius point and D as your distance, swing an arc, ID downward also. Set your dividers from I to F. And with G as center, strike an arc and letter it J. With J as a center and JE as your radius, Strike the arc, and hopefully it is tangent to the other arc coming down. Now readjust your dividers from J to A and do the same. Strike an arc, and hopefully 
it is also tangent. If everything is okay, we are now going to add 3 sixteenths for the easy edger. If everything has connected properly, we are now all set to start marking the notches and darkening the object lines. You will be needing two cheeks one left and one right. The other two pieces of this fitting are called wrappers and sometimes runners or heels. We are going to need to figure out how or what the length of these wrappers are. One way is to use a ruler or peewee tape or we can figure it out with geometry or even a mathematical equation. I am now showing the geometric way of figuring this out. It all starts by drawing a triangle using AB as your working length and AC is a slant length BC is an offset. So I am taking the working length, which is A to B, striking the arc on A to C, Let's call this point K. Now you need to divide K to C into three equal spaces. You can now set your dividers to one of these spaces and add it to the slant line AC, this becoming your new length of wrapper.
we have now found the length of the wrapper. It is eight and three eighths from working line to working line, or the one inch line to the one inch line. This is the formula that we will be using later on to figure out the wrapper lengths. Now that we have found the slant length or the wrapper length of eight and three eighths, plus both connectors on each end for S and drives, we will now make a rectangle 10 and 3 eighths by 6. I am now scribing for my Pittsburgh locks on each side. And then we will do the S and drive connectors on each end. CA is the same length as CA on the cheek, 8 and 3 eighths. That's it. You're all done. Let's go ahead and notch and darken the object lines.